Uh, ready? Welcome back to some more Zelda Zone Zero. We still got some agent archives. Was that what they're called? <clears throat> to do. We got three of them. We're gonna do one of them today. Yep. We, yeah, we finished. These four already. Mole in the hole, cat and mouse game, the Iron Witch, schoolyard, powerhouse. We finished all those. Now we got. And the true heroes are always behind the scenes, I'm guessing. Until your memory fades and the case of a missing Bing Boo. So let's just do like hunts. Go ahead and do this. Tonight's a chill night, so you've been chatting leisurely with Belle until you hear an unexpected message notification. Belle, I received a strange message. With the waning moon nigh, the children shall descend as the clock strikes midnight. Oh, sinners await judgment in silence. This is so cringy. Who sent this? Lycon. Oh, it's from Lycon? Wait, you mean the Lycon that I know? You only know one Lycon. Maybe his account got hacked and the hacker is taunting us. And But it sounds like him because he asked us politely if we were free in five minutes and said that he'd be coming to the video store. Did something happen? This whole thing just feels so weird. Could be that Lycon, despite seeming quite serious, is actually like this deep down? Uh, highly likely. <laughs> I mean, you, don't, you never know. I knew it. He's pretty good at hiding it, though. Oh, he says he's almost at the video store. Typical Lycon. Always so quick to act. Should go back and wait for him at the store. After returning to the video store, a rhythmic knocking comes to the door. As expected, it's Lycon. He greets you with a gentlemanly nod and enters. My apologies for disturbing you. I am here today to discuss a commission with you, Master Proxies. Yeah, we got your message. I trust the both of you have already read the forum post of declared criminal intent I sent you. Forum post of what now? You sent us a forum post? Ah, I believe I reposted it in the group chat. Icon takes out his phone and carefully reads through the chat history. My most sincere apologies. I failed to send it properly. <laughs> Ellen just taught me how to long press and send internet links, but it appears I only managed to copy the title. Oh, so that weird text Lycon sent us before was the title of an internet post. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing. For a moment, I thought Lycon had a new hobby of some sort. The truth is less exciting than what I imagined. I yet remain apologetic for my mistake. In order to not waste your time, allow me to read the contents of the post aloud for you. With the waning moon nigh, the chosen shall descend as the clock strikes midnight. O sinners, await judgment in silence. That is what the title says. And now allow me to read the you read that. for you. On the day of revelation, during the embers of the waning moon, I shall become the chosen of the heavens and descend upon this land of sins, taking back the divine heart in the name of hope. I said exactly how I probably would read something off of forum post. <laughs> Signed, the companion of justice. Who is talking? That's kind of enigmatic. Uh, the contents of this post seem quite enigmatic. Did you get any of that, Belle? I feel like I get it, but also don't get it. Lycon, could you translate? Considering the follow-up posts made by this poster, this thread should be a declaration that the poster intends to infiltrate a hollow tonight to steal a famous painting that will be in transport then. And this very painting belongs to one of my current employers. As a qualified attendant, it is my duty to protect my client's yeah. assets. Thus, I was hoping to have you accompany me into the hollow and help stop the theft. Well, we can, but... Well, we can, but... This post looks like it was written by a kid trying to sound edgy. Uh, just trolling. Indeed, you aren't wrong to think that way. I too have considered that possibility. Wait, you know what edgy means? <laughs> the word edgy appeared in the comments multiple times. You know what edgy means? In order to figure out the exact meaning of this term, I scoured the web and carefully <laughs> researched the term edgy the topic before getting an understanding of the nuance behind it. Well, I can sure is diligent. Even if the post is, as you said, merely a prank, that is also an acceptable outcome. You see, eliminating potential threats to my master's safety is also an important duty of an attendant. Well, better to be safe than sorry if you got a reputation to uphold, huh? Of course, regardless of the outcome, I will see to it to give you sufficient compensation. I was about to change an audio quality for the voice. Did y'all notice that? 
As this is quite urgent, I'm willing to offer twice the usual commission fee as compensation, if that would be all right with you. Oh, we'll take the commission. That's a lot of money. We'll take the commission. After all, we can't leave a friend in need hanging. You didn't hesitate at all. How oh, wise. Well, then, hey, money's money. I suppose this contract is settled. Thank you kindly for your trust. I shall take my leave for now. Once both of you are ready, please make your way to the hollow. I kind of bows gracefully as usual and then leaves the video store. Why is I don't think advertising a crime is something a normal thief would do before they are about to steal something. A phantom thief? Though, you know. We got the phantom thieves here. Are you saying it's a phantom thief? Even a thief who wears a trench coat and a hat slinks down from the ceiling and steals from under everyone's noses? That phantom thief? Now that is something I like to see. Well, let's get ready to leave. We can't keep Lycon waiting for too long. All right, let's head into the hollow. Uh, this looks like a good team, yeah? Okay. They got Lycon in it anyways, so. Oh, this is a battle one. Oh, it's gonna change into an actual. Who the heck is that? Is that, that the? Person just now looks super suspicious. Oh, energy energy ahead. Yeah. Okay. See, at top left, the you can't actually see it. How disgusting. Oh, is this a sedient? No, definitely. <laughs> it's definitely a, a thing for the update, maybe. Yeah, you can't see uh you can't see Jane's uh agent gauge is what I'll call it. But only when you actually have her active. No problem. That'd be a sick ass change. I don't think so. Is that a thing they could do? I don't think so. Yeah, graphics is nothing over here. Color filter strength, I don't even know what that means. Yeah, it wouldn't be anywhere over here. That thief was able to get through despite being so small and weak. We should be more vigilant. This seems that she was weak. Well, she, did, she certainly didn't seem like a hollow raider at the very least. Smack you around. Spin around. What? How did it? How did you not do that? A little gift for ya. A deep clean. I'm out. Lucky you, young Can I get this order? Understood. Yeah. I'll make it pain. There you go, this order. 15,000 for this order. Yeah. 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 Good clarity. The pressure is on. Don't look straight at the moon. Stand there. Bomb. We should turn right. Yeah, but stuff here. Some supplies up ahead. I'll go by your decision, Master Foxy. Okay. Got your back. And then bomb. Look at that supplies. I could have missed out on ten whole polychrome. Look at that. I like this music here, though. Oh my god. This stuff blows up so quick. The path ahead seems to be blocked by materials. Okay. Don't worry. I'll clear the way for you. Okay. Okay, stop. Is that a 40k? I said it for assault. Can't tell that's a lot for right now. I mean, these characters 
characters. The enemies are level 48, I think I said. And I'm level 50. Got some stuff. Look at that. He pays to be searching around. Hey, look. We're What's surrounded by Imperials. Please allow me a little time to deal with them. What? How many theories here? This team right here is so much AoE. It's actually so good. And I'm being focused on assault for this one. So it just means that that's a whole bunch of Oh Lord assault procs. I'm physical, I guess. Let's focus on physical. There's a whole bunch of assault procs. Double the ice a little bit. You don't have any sense. You can't escape. I just did. If I should have done the ice first, I could then shatter. I didn't even do that. Power. So we still get this order. The pressure is on. A deep clean. But that's fine. No escape. He's still stunned? Yeah, he's coming back. Oh, this is sword. I just got three of them right there. Got. Oh, I messed up right there. I got this order, assault, and shatter. All together. That's sick. I wonder if you're, able to, you're probably able to lilac. Why is she always a little girl here? Well, I mean, she looks like a middle schooler at most, at least. At least that outfit reminds me of like a middle schooler's outfit from like typical anime. Well, that is shown in anime, I should say. I don't know how I actually Japanese. Oh no, I guess I wouldn't say it's Japanese, right? It looks like a middle school outfit. But I've seen an anime. What's wrong? Your expression is a little. But why is it a girl? Why is it a little girl? Little girl, I should say. No, it's nothing. A frail. This is just a bit. Te meek. Shocking. Little girl. <laughs> shocking? How so? Please do not worry. It's nothing major, it's just that, well, this lady thief what? is my current employer. Not long ago, I was contracted by her family and temporarily took over their previous attendance duties. Huh? So she's stealing from her own house? Master, I have found a proverb that fits the current situation. She is going against her family, like machine oil, that decided to flood the workshop. Ha ha, ha ha. <laughs> what the hell is that? Barry, now's not the time for bad jokes. Miss Lilac, could you explain why you are here? I think there's a pretty name. I know not of this lilac you speaketh of. Thou dost not know my name. But, very well. Why? Well, why? Well, I guess this really proves that the person on the internet was her. Why is she speaking like that, though? Allow me to enlighten Oh, Joel, stop and she has the drill hair. I should have noticed. I should have seen this coming. She has the drill hair. And she's from a, I'm guessing, a wealthy family. She's an Ojo Sama. She just needs to do the laugh. My name is Lampaluch Asnabel Fenton. And she's a Chuni. You got a lot going on, girl. Also call me the chosen of the world's end, the companion of justice. It's perfect. Tuni Ojo Sama? I need to hear the laugh. Laugh. Come on. Do, do the laugh, please. Isn't that still just lilac? Uh, 
I think I still heard the name Lilac in there. Incorrect. That's Lampelouche Asnabel Phantom Hind Lilac to you. Not Lilac. Grandiose, yet <laughs> lengthy and jumbled terminology, speech filled with emotion but lacking any efficiency in communication. I see. I suppose this <laughs> is a textbook example of the edgy speech pattern. I wonder if in the Jap in Japanese if they call her just straight up Chuni. Right? I like they just say that. Call her Chuni sort of edgy. However, from my perspective, it appears you have no issues communicating with her. Could this <laughs> be the popular subculture amongst the I, today? I could see wise having a Chuni phase, you know? Eye patch on, having a bandage on his arm. Talking about his dark power emanating from his arm and all that. I guess I could see Wise being into that. I guess so. I suppose you could say that. Eight trends ago, if I might be blunt, your explanation is also quite confusing. However, <laughs> we shouldn't linger here. I recommend we escort her out of the hollow. Wise was definitely a chuny. Growing up. I bet. I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet. And who might thou be? This is Wise. A friend of mine, Miss Lilac. About what happened just now. I have told thee before. I am not Lilac. I am Lampelouche Asnabel Phantom High Lilac. What a long name. It's such a long name. You just made it up yourself, didn't you? Made what up? This name is from my favorite comic. I <clears throat> I mean, this is the name bestowed upon me since conception. There's her breaking character a bit. I heard that slip up. I heard that. From the comics, huh? Miss Lilac, would you like blueberry mousse or orange tart for afternoon tea tomorrow? <laughs> blueberry mousse for sure. <laughs> <laughs> she, she slips up so easily. Nobody gotta get your chuny game up. You admit it to it. So you finally admitted it. You really are the child of his employer, Lilac. How? How could you use food to trip me up? <laughs> That's cheating. She's cute. So you can't speak normally. Aha. Uh -huh. The staple of an edgy persona. Once exposed, they ditch the pretense. See, wise knows. He, 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 he definitely was Judy. He knows. Miss Lilac, if I may ask you, why do you want to steal this painting? Stealing a painting? <laughs> As expected, you can only see the surface of all this. Unfortunately for your feeble minds, the shallows do not typically contain the truth. May I be so bold as to assume that the post on Internet was also put up by you? You hear the way she speaks like on? It has to be her. Uh, what post? I don't know of any post. On the day of revelation, during the embers of the waning moon, <laughs> I shall become the chosen of the heavens and descend upon this land of sins, taking back. Stop! Stop, stop, stop. Okay. What's with that bland as hell reading? If you try to sign up for the organization right now, <laughs> I bet they drop you in the first round. Oh, well, that... that but the organization probably wouldn't want someone as stuffy as you in the first place. Never mind a painting. I bet you couldn't even steal a coin. What is this organization you speak of? The organization is the organization. Stealing this painting is the test they gave me. What the hell did you get into? Once I pass this test, I can join them and become a companion of justice. If this isn't a scam, you are the daughter of a wealthy household. Make sure this isn't a scam or trap. I just didn't think that I'd get something belonging to my parents as a target. Does organization test people by having them steal things? Steal things? The entrance test is to steal something? <laughs> What sort of organization is this? Also, why would a justice organization have you steal paintings? I don't even think Phantom Thieves himself really think that they're completely on the side of justice most of the time, right? They're still thieves. I guess there are some Phantom Thieves of justice, right? Obviously, a Phantom Thieves Syndicate. What else? Do you really not know about Mockingbird? The most famous Phantom Thieves in all of New Eridu? 
Why did you? What was like a like what was like on the expression right there? Searching for Mockingbird, an infamous thief syndicate that steals from the rich and gives to the poor. Though their reputation is quite mixed, they once fooled and scammed almost all the wealthy elites of New Eridu. Guess you would consider that a Phantom Thieves of Justice. The organization was inactive for quite some time, but has recently resurfaced on Internaut. They're merely a group of criminals, nothing more. I'm guessing Lycon has isn't just some, group some of history with them. <laughs> They're chivalrous thieves who steal from the rich and give to the poor. They are justice itself, and I am one of the chosen. Lampalouche as the Bell Phantom Hind Lilac! Also known as the Chosen of the World's End, the Companion of Justice. Personally, I prefer stealing from the rich and giving to the me. Miss Lilac. I can use that money. That's enough. Don't try to stop me. You can't possibly understand this kind of justice or my determination to become a phantom thief. You misunderstand. As an attendant, it is my duty to protect my master's assets. So I cannot allow you to steal this painting. <laughs> However, please do not worry. As per the contract I have signed, you too are my employer. And I will not prevent you from doing as you wish. Nor will I tell your parents. Yet I must warn you, the organization that calls itself Mockingbird is not necessarily <laughs> trustworthy. And there are great <laughs> risks in trying to join. I hope you can reconsider. So it does have history with I them. I thought you were going to be all stuffy and stuck up like my previous attendants. Never thought you might be different from those old fossils. As for the painting, it's fine, even if you don't let me take it. I have other ways. Lilac leaves, but Lycon doesn't follow. But is he really okay to just leave her like this? <clears throat> Please do not worry. I will not let the situation remain as it currently is. It's just considering what I know of people such as Miss Lilac. Forcing my opinion will only cause more trouble. If I want her to understand the issue at hand, I need to find a more appropriate method. Something more direct and impactful that'll teach her where the issue lies. Apart from that, I also need some time to look into this ostensible Mockingbird's current dealings more thoroughly. Have you worked with Mockingbird before? Should just go straight into it, rip off the band-aid. The Lycon. Have you dealt with Mockingbird before? I wouldn't say dealt with is an accurate way to describe my relationship with Mockingbird. It has to do with a mistake I once made. I apologize. This has to do with some unpleasant history. When the opportunity presents itself, I will tell you more. You Alrighty. <clears throat> wonder why... I was gonna say, I wonder why that like, wants to deal with all this phantom thief stuff, but she is a kid. Kids do dumb things. They gotta learn from those dumb things, you know? I never would've thought something like this would come out of, a, out of busting a thief. There's definitely something wrong with that mockingbird. Yep, despite claims that mockingbird are these phantom thieves to steal from the rich to give to the poor, something still doesn't, still so, Something still seems a little suspicious. I am not saying sus suspicious. <clears throat> I also think there's something up with Lilac wise. Makes sense. It feels like she's going to try something. But it's getting late. Let's sleep early. Next up we have next up we just have to wait for Lycon to get in touch. A pretty short one. <clears throat> second part a few days later you meet up with Lycon at the coffee shop in Lumina Square as you agreed earlier regarding the Mockingbird incident from before I've conducted a preliminary investigation it seems as though this organization is deliberately trying to get close to Miss Lilac after all they're definitely up to something that's right the true intentions of these people remain unclear however I have already prepared my bait Perhaps a big fish will take a bite soon. Actually, there's one more thing that I'd like to discuss with you. If it's not too much to ask, could you spare some time around this time tomorrow? I have some doubts about this case that I hope we can clear up together. Of course. Wonderful. Then I'll be waiting for you at Lumina Square at this time tomorrow. 
<coughs> Next day, Wise heads to Lumina Square and immediately spots Lycon in the crowd. He steps forward and stands on tiptoes to pat Lycon on the back. Ah, you are very punctual. I wanted to discuss with you that I try recently, Miss Lilac has been acting rather strange. Stranger than she already has? While she usually <laughs> frequents the bookstore, recently she has been going to the noodle shop instead. Maybe she's, you know, been in a hankering for some noodle. What's wrong with the noodle shop? What's wrong with the noodle shop? Noodles are pretty good. I apologize. I have no bias against noodles. What I mean is, Miss Lilac's least favorite food oh. is noodles. She even said, noodles being the Protag's favorite food, that's so last year. <laughs> it's a new year now. Have some creativity. <laughs> the Lilac really is a big comic nerd. Lilac seems to be quite the comic nerd. In addition, <laughs> according to what her chauffeur and bodyguard said, she even skipped her extra classes today. This is completely unprecedented. Miss Lilac has always been well behaved and never skips classes. Even in her free time, she spends it almost entirely reading comics. Oh no, she's in the rebellious phase. <coughs> I guess it's a tuny for you. I have a suspicion that this all might have to do with that so-called Mockingbird organization. <laughs> Phantom Thieves taught Lilac some bad habits. Maybe Lilac's in a rebellious phase. Maybe Lilac is going through a rebellious phase. I thought Miss Lilac's rebellion is already expressed through the way she speaks. In any case, <laughs> in order to ensure that there are no potential threats to her safety, I wish to do some investigating at the places she frequents. <coughs> if I could be so bold as to ask you to accompany me, I believe you are likely more familiar with Lumina Square than I am. I've been here a few times. Yeah, Lumina Square is like a second home to me. Or sure, I can be your proxy for Lumina Square. Sure, I can be a proxy for Lumina Square too. I've memorized the locations of all the stores there. Although I am not quite sure I understand, I trust that it was a very amusing joke. Yeah. Ah, yes. <laughs> Thank there you was something else I wished to discuss with you. May <laughs> I call you Master while investigating, just in case. I believe using this to cover our identities will be more convenient for us. <laughs> Call me that as much as you want. I like it. Oh, I know there are definitely some people who really like that. Huh? Sure. Let's do with that. Do the you fan service. Call me that as many times as you want. Thank you for your cooperation. Then, let us begin from the noodle shop. Why well, said that very provocatively? Oh, look at all these people here. What are they waiting in line for? Oh, the noodle shop again. Huh? Well, Chop Junior. Oh, it's you, Wise. <coughs> wanted to ask you about something. Well, sorry, I'm in the middle of something right now when there's a stream of customers queuing out the door. Yeah, we've been short staffed at the shop recently, and the part time kids aren't always able to come in. Besides making all the noodles, I have to serve all the diners too. Some people take an eternity just to order. I'm just swamped here. Would it make things more efficient if you were to know in advance what each customer in the queue wished to order? Of course it would. If I could get their orders in advance, then I could really focus on the noodles. I see. I have a proposal to address this problem. You can judge for yourself if it's appropriate. With your assent, we could assign a we could sign a temporary contract. I can help ask your diners about their preferences, give them some appropriate suggestions, and summarize everything into a table. Of course, I won't be requiring any form of compensation. I just hope you can take the time to answer a few questions once you're less busy. Uh. Uh, like I'm sure is a one dependable attendant. If you say so, wise, then I'll leave things to you. Oh, I, I think a white bowl is better. Well, that's a siren attendant. He looks so suave. Good day. Our restaurant provides a menu service that matches you with dishes that suit your needs to increase efficiency. May I ask, what appeals to your taste? My taste? That's a little direct, isn't it? I'm like I'm hot and arrogant. I'm also into furries. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that a term you can say here? Is that like a correct term? Is that is that an offensive term <laughs> to tyrants? Call them furries? <laughs> I'm also into furries. Oh my god, my type of girl. It's just like me for real? Uh, that's on me. I didn't explain myself clearly enough. What I meant to say was, how do you like your noodles? Oh, in, in that case, I like sweet noodles. 
Master, based on this diner's description, I have identified their main requests. White bowl, preferably on the sweeter side. Is there anything else you could suggest? Pumpkin soup. Well, pumpkin is kind of sweet, right? Maybe. What about pumpkin soup noodles? Not bad. That's exactly how I like it. And by the way, do you mind if I wash the antenna while I eat? They go really well together. <laughs> this girl. I don't think that's a good idea. It will affect the running of the store. That's too bad. For a second there, I thought the noodles on the menu had turned into a high-end ribeye steak. <laughs> I got one last question for you. Wait, please, pet your tail. A tail has a different price tag. Well, I haven't heard that one before. Look, thanks, but the tail is off limits. <laughs> Can I put your tail? You know how many people would genuinely probably act like her if sirens are real? Oh. I'd be like that too, not gonna lie. That's at the diner. Look at this crowd. How long are we going to be waiting for? Is it really that hard to get a bite to eat around here? Good day. Our restaurant provides a menu service that matches you with dishes that suit your needs to increase efficiency. Excuse me, how do you like your noodles? <laughs> he changed up the question. You, you mean flavor? Well, of course, it's got to be spicy. Noodles without chili is like an ethereal without a hollow. It's not natural. I'm sorry, but noodles that aren't spicy do exist in the world. Or at least they do here. If you want some, we got it. Master, master based on the diner's description, I have identified their main request. A black bowl, piping hot soup, and a dish with meat. Please recommend a dish for them. The black bowl, red chili chicken noodles. It doesn't say black bowl, but I'm guessing it will have a black bowl. Hmm, not bad. The, this noodles look, these noodles look like it'll hit the spot. It looks like you're working really hard. I thought you were some rich person who brought their attendant out to experience your life in the real world. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. You're welcome. Remember to add extra chilies, the spiciest you got. The order has been settled. Thank you for your business. I still, I still suck on the furry girl. Jesus Christ, you should. She's just like me for real. Speaking of, look how cute she is. There's not that many. Is there? There's no. There's no Thyron, uh, Anthro Thyron girls at all yet, right? Besides the one that we saw in that, um, in the 1.2. Uh, trailer the thing about Bobby the special program is that really the first anthro thyron that we've seen maybe I mean there might be something like art official art somewhere but every bowl of noodles looks so good to me good day our restaurant provides a menu service that matches you with dishes that suit your needs to increase efficiency but I don't really have any special requests. I'll take whatever you suggest. Is there anything you can recommend? How about this white bowl of fried barbecue noodles? It's one of our most popular dishes. That sounds pretty good, but isn't fried barbecue a little greasy? I like eating meat, but it's not very healthy if it's greasy. Well, how about a black bowl of red chili chicken noodles? The soup isn't greasy and it's good for your immune system. That does sound good, but the black bowl has red chili in it. Maybe a bit too spicy. I can eat spicy food, so there's no problem there, but I just don't feel like eating something that's super spicy. <laughs> like I said, he didn't have any special requests. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Son of a bitch! Oh, I tried to sneeze when I could it. God damn it. Pretty girl in the background. It's quite alright, I understand. <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, Jesus Christ, did you hear that? Oh god. Uh Master, based on this diner's description, I have identified their main requests. Meaty, but not greasy, and not spicy. Please, could you suggest some dishes for them? Pepper. It's green pepper. Green peppers usually aren't that well, I guess Serrano and Jalapeno, very spicy, sort of, but they're not red. So green pepper chicken noodles. Was that a black bowl of green peppers? 
That looks to be too spicy. No, thank you. Never mind. Bone broth noodles then. Wow, that sounds great. And the meat on those bones doesn't look greasy at all. I'll take one of those. Your order has been settled. Thank you for your business. No, no, I should be thanking you. I'm not the type of diner with many requests. It must be a real pain for you when you get a picky eater, right? Thank you for sharing your concerns. We always try to cater to the needs of our diners, no matter the customer. I hope you have a lovely meal. As expected of Lycon, go a comment collected. Count up all the orders at the at all, uh, of all the customers in line. Let's hurry up and give Chop Jr. the final table. Giddy! Look at the chunky. That's it? You guys are moving fast. Let me see. The, this is a complete clear table with prominent, easy to read items. You really are a gem of a worker. Well, once I'm financially independent, I love to have such a capable attendant helping out with daily operations in the shop. I just think of all the customers who let check just by standing there. He's a hot furry. Is that a. I still don't know if that's a. He's a hot siren. <laughs> like on service, it's cost top dollar. It praise honors me, but surely you're joking. I am merely a humble attendant. I wonder if you might be available now to answer a few questions. Oh, I almost forgot about all that. Go ahead, ask away. You can talk about anything you want, except my pin. Have you seen a little girl called Lilac? She used to shop at your store quite frequently. Like who? Uh, sorry, my memory isn't the greatest and I'm always forgetting other people's names. Well, she's always saying things that people find difficult to understand. I remember now, that girl who's always talking nonsense. I know her. I saw her recently. She just came into our store recently for some part-time work. One look tells me she never lifted a finger on housework at home. But she's hardworking, studious, and a pretty good person. Speaking of which, I just paid her a big advance on her salary today. She seemed nice and she left her student ID as collateral. So I gave her the advance. An advance on her salary. Got it. I thank you for your cooperation. You have been a tremendous help. It's fine. Now that you mention it, what is your relationship with that kid? Lalek is my employer. She has had some minor issues recently and I am duty bound to keep her safe. Feels like that then. Hmm. Hang on, if that kid is your boss and does that mean wise? I'm Lycon's master. Correct. Mr. Wise is my master. Ah, now I get it. Anyway, Siren Attendant, you're very capable. If you're after any side gigs in the future, please come and find me. I'll make it worth your while. Looks like you've gathered a lot of information about Lilac. Discuss it with Lycon. I did not expect Miss Lilac would actually work here part time. Well, she needed the money. She obviously needed the money for some reason, considering she needed she wanted it in advance. Logically speaking, she would not lack pocket money to spend. Oh well, yeah. Unless, perhaps she's saving up to purchase something particularly expensive. She's not going to try to buy that painting, is she? Is it possible that Lilac wants to instead buy that painting she was going to steal? As expected of a great proxy such as yourself, you came to this conclusion immediately as well. Lilac's parents have been planning to sell a batch of paintings recently. That painting is amongst them, and I hear it was reserved a couple of days ago. Huh. But that painting is not cheap. If I had to guess, I'd say it costs about... <laughs> like God uses his hands to convey an impossibly large number. Excuse me, how much? Wait a second. How much? Could someone her age really afford something like that? Well, in terms of material wealth, my employer is indeed quite affluent. Material wealth? Material wealth? Is there another kind of wealth? <sighs> Miss Lilac's parents are usually exceptionally busy and are unable to spend time with her. However, they are very strict and expect the best from her. No matter what she is doing, she usually has a chauffeur or bodyguards to accompany her. Well, excuse me, monitor her actions would be a more apt way to put it. Every day after school, Miss Lilac also has endless extracurricular and supplementary classes to attend. Though she may have material wealth, is she truly happy? I've been wondering ever since I took over attendant duties for this household. She was more like a prisoner. Perhaps that is exactly why Miss Lilac spends so much time with her comics. It allows her to live vicariously through the characters in another world when she herself can't really do much. At the very least, 
In the world of comic book fiction, she is free. I can't really be such a good person. You really are a good person. You flatter me. But I may not be how you think I am. Someone once told me that family is an everlasting, unavoidable curse placed upon a person. No matter how much you grow, no matter where you go, that curse will forever follow you like a shadow. When you fall to rock bottom or climb to your peak, it will appear, turning you back into that helpless, powerless child who can do nothing but hide in the closet and weep. Perhaps it is because I have never known the feeling of being bonded to someone through blood, but I've always believed that family should not be a curse, as they had told me. Who told you that? That sounds quite heavy. Who said that? An old friend. No one worth mentioning. I'm sorry. It appears I've digressed. I believe Lilac chose to work part-time due to her family as well. Perhaps her savings are just short of being able to afford the painting, and she does not wish to ask her parents for help. Or perhaps she simply wants to obtain something through the efforts of her own two hands. Well, she does seem like a diligent child, at least. <clears throat> However, what I am most worried about is that if Miss Lilac did manage to buy the painting, it would then follow that she would meet with members of Mockingbird. If this is so, she may end up in danger. So, could I be so bold as to ask you to accompany me to another location? Once we are there, I should be able to confirm where exactly that painting will end up. Ready. That's a mysterious person where? Over there. Because I have to go through this. Oh my god, look at you. You're cute. Oh, this young gentleman here. Interested in buying some jade. Just got a new badge in. Uh, no thanks. I don't need it. Uh, as expected of a rich gentleman. How about you buy a piece of jade for this tyrant attendant with you? It could be a token of trust between you two. Seeing it, see, seeing it is like seeing your master in person. Seeing it is like seeing your master in person. Just imagine passing this down for five generations to your descendants. How about this? That cuts you a 12% discount. I'm practically giving it away. Let's consider it a way to make friends. My name's Casey. Every pawn trader around here knows my name. You guys are lucky to have bumped into me. And Mr. Casey, we are not here to shop. Have you heard about that famous piece at the museum getting torched? You know who did this. <coughs> You know, it's the artist himself. Well, his works are supposed to be fireproof. If it burned, if it if it burned, it's definitely a fake. All right, your turn. Which organization has the highest success rate in our field so far? <laughs> Mockingbird, or to be more precise, the formerly active Mockingbird. Ah, I never suggest. I never would have guessed a couple of decent-looking guys like you were actually in the know. Guess you deserve a bonus question. Is the leader of Mockingbird. That's not one of our code words. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. If we knew the answer to the industry's biggest secret, you wouldn't be standing here, would you? I just remain silent. Like, I'm obviously taking, it's taking the lead here. Fine. Got anything you need to sell? My cut's a fixed 20%. No discounts. No, we'd like to ask you for some information. Naturally, we shall offer appropriate compensation. Ah, oh, looking for a bit of intel, huh? You come to the right person. But rules are rules. If you want the info, I need the code word. And your master has to give it to me too. <coughs> the most famous piece of the museum was touched. Who was the arsonist? The artist himself. They're very good, correct. The organization has the highest success rate in our field so far. Walkingbird. They're very good, you're correct. Hey, but then, what do you want to know? It's about the painting, Divine Heart. Do you know who the buyer is? Oh, that. Then you really have come to the right place. The buyer of that painting is a little girl, I believe. Eh, kids these days, each richer than the last. That's precisely as I'd exp That's precisely as I predicted. Got it. Thank you for the information. No problem. Oh, yeah. One more question for the attendant. Are you working solo these days, or do you have a partner? Surely this pampered gentleman here with his innocent bambi eyes isn't your partner, right? 
I once had a partner, but now we are enemies. Oh, that happens all the time in this line of work. If all that partners who ended up becoming our enemies. So why did you split? Trouble dividing your cuts equally? Come on, spill the beans. I love hearing these stories. I'm sorry, that's private. Lycon frowns and pulls awkwardly at the collar on his coat. He seems rather reluctant to talk about this topic. Yeah, judging by the look on your face, you must have parted ways in some spicy drama. Same we didn't know each other back then. I'm a top media in this industry, and maybe if I'd stepped in, you'd still be peacefully splitting your profits. So what is your former partner up to now? Have they got any good stuff? Go on, tell them I'll pay top daddy. <coughs> Never heard the saying silence is golden. It's okay. Thank you for your help. Thank you for helping out, Master. Mr. Casey, here's your promised rem remuneration. Let us hereby part ways. After talking to the suspicious merchant, you give Lycon a wink. Lycon instantly understands and the two of us walk to a remote area together. You seem to have something about which you would like to inquire. Please. Sorry, I'm all stuffy from trying to sneeze before. Why do you know so much about these kinds of transactions? How come you know so much about this sort of thing? I've merely dabbled a little in such things. I would not consider myself an expert. I understand your confusion. However, this concerns my past. It also concerns my nemesis. I see. If he doesn't want to go into it, then I won't push him. I see. You haven't said anything yet. But I think I get it. Indeed. They are memories I would rather not bring up. In any case, that past is not pleasant. All right, I'll let you off the hook for now. All right, well, I'll let you off the hook now, but I'll keep it in mind. Thank you for your understanding. As a matter of fact, I once had dealings with these intermediaries due to, uh, well, I had my reasons. Many of them are so cunning they will take advantage of any weaknesses they perceive. It takes patience and effort to deal with them. If you ever come across such merchants in the future, please be careful. And do not give your trust lightly. Seeing as Miss Lilac has already obtained the painting, she must be meeting with the people from Mockingbird soon. We must stop her before that happens. She should have just finished her supplementary classes. Let's head over and take a look. They're probably going to like take her hostage or something as ransom. No way they wouldn't know that she's like the daughter of a wealthy family. <coughs> the Mockingbird is a super mean phantom thief syndicate. They can get a hold of anything if they want to. Not even tops can stop them. Really? I'm not buying it. Don't you believe me? The biggest case at that time was La... La... What was it again? The Lemecria Hotel. That's right, that's the one. Are you also a fan of Mockingbird? Not really. I just happen to know a thing or two about them. Since gather around Lycon chatting endlessly. Looks like he's supposed to make his way into their inner circle. It's time to ask about Lilac. I need to go blow my nose because my god, is it like... Is it bad, bad, bad? I've got a question I'd like to ask you all. You know Miss Lilac. Sure, she's in our cram class, but I don't think she's here today. Lou was here earlier, but she's already left. Not sure what's up with her. She's always on about some companion of justice stuff. Totally weird if you ask me. Nah, you're not just not getting it. She's trying to be edgy. Edgy? That's ancient. Yeah, that trend. Yeah, that trend died like last decade. All right, at the last PTA, her folks in the show. Some old dude came instead. I think it was her attendant. I thought it was her grandpa. But seriously, she's loaded. She even got a personal chauffeur. Maybe she just hired a tutor to teach her at home then. Who knows? Maybe she wants to make friends. And she's solo all the time. I feel kind of sorry for her. It's not like there's much we can do. Legit can't make heads or tails of what she says. But she's always buried in her comics during breaks. I'm like, no thanks. I wouldn't want to hang out with someone like her. Lilac appears at the corner. Miss Lilac. There she is. Miss Lilac. 
That's enough. That's enough. I don't want to hear it. Are you satisfied seeing me like this? I'm useless. Such a freak. So hated by everyone. That's the kind of person I am. Are you happy now? I like ran off again. And I kind of knew glance at each other silently before chasing after her. I run after her. She's alone at home and she's alone at school. Jeez. You've been investigating me all this time. So my father and my mother who put you up to it. Is it because I skipped one of my extra classes recently? Or I chopped a rank in the monthly exam? I always fix it on these things. It's hard to even remember. And the leg ran off again. I got a new glance at each other silently before closing, chasing after her. Hold up. You also think the other students are correct, right? The companion of justice, what a joke. I fantasize all day long about being the chosen one, and I can't even control my daily life. But it's my only dream. How do you want to take that away from me? Stop following me. Don't look at me, please. Lag ran off again. Yo, this is a dangerous way to go about your dream. Mockingbird guys aren't exactly trustworthy. Having run alongside Lycon for a long time, you're already out of breath. While Lycon remains as composed as ever, you inadvertently catch his eye and sense he's hesitating as if wanting to suggest carrying you. Luckily, you managed to catch up to Lilac before that. It's sure a lot of people would love that. Miss Lilac, please. We have no ill intentions. And I do not agree with what those other students said about you. I merely want to warn you that Mockingbird is suspicious. It is possible you may encounter danger if you go. Even if I'm in danger, it doesn't concern you. In the end, you're just an attendant that my parents hired. Why are you trying to stick your nose into everything? In any case, you're probably just like those other people. You must think I'm a freak, just like they do. Well, I'm so sorry that you're forced to take care of someone who only causes trouble, who no one loves, who's edgy and delusional like me. I've never thought that, Miss Lilac. You are the respectable, important employer of Victoria Housekeeping. We would never treat someone like yourself with such utter disrespect. But you weren't even willing to listen to what I said. <sighs> My most sincere apologies. My knowledge is lacking. I have yet to better understand popular subcultures, such as what being edgy truly means. I shall make sure to take lessons and educate myself on it. <laughs> I don't think we can expect Lycan to understand such edgy- I don't think taking lessons is necessary. Is there really a need to take lessons on being edgy? It doesn't matter anymore. This is all just the price I need to pay to become a companion of justice. I bought the painting so I can finally meet with them. The people at Mockingbird told me that I'm the most promising recruit yet. I will join them and become a companion of justice! You cannot stop me! <sighs> I understand. If that is your wish, I will not stop you. I will help you fulfill it. You... I'm meeting with Mockingbird at the Ballet Twins at this time tomorrow. You know, I can, in fact, do this by myself. I don't need you. I've got a carrot and I've prepared weapons to deal with the ethereals. Are you able to use them? So... Effectively? I don't care if you come or not. It's up to you. My apologies. I have brought shame to myself by making Miss Lilac feel uncomfortable. I have failed in my duties as an attendant. Are you really going to do this? Are you <clears throat> really going to do this? <clears throat> to help grant Lilac her wish? Yes, I will. However, the wish I will help her fulfill is what her heart truly desires. If I'm correct in my suspicions, she doesn't simply wish to join Mockingbird. That's only what's on the surface. She has other needs. Emotional needs that are truly what she seeks to fulfill. The fish has taken the bait. Yes, where? By fish, you mean. That organization calling itself Mockingbird has contacted me. Master Proxy, hmm. may I ask you for a favor? Yeah. Please. This is something only you can do. Alrighty. <coughs> 
I see Mockingbird is the only people that's actually like praised her or talk nice with her at all. Her own family's not even there, and her friends at school mock her friends. The other students at school mock her. I definitely didn't expect things to turn out like this. I feel sorry for Lilac. Yeah, but I never thought Lycon would come up with something like that. Anyway, let's wait for his message. Ready, we're on the third one already. This one felt really short. There wasn't that much uh going into the hollow. Not long after Lycon's invitation arrives like he promised. I like has sent the exact location where she will be meeting with the organization. I'm afraid we'll have to face the Mockingbird head on. Lycon will emerge victorious. Thank you for trusting me. Please don't worry. I am confident that I will defeat them. But aside from that, I'll be counting on you for that other business. I'm ready. I appreciate your help. I'll have to make some preparations. I'll notify you once everything is taken care of. I hope everything goes well. I discussed a secret plan with Lycon. Shortly after I returned to the video store, Lycon's DM arrives. Master Proxy, everything is ready and I am already in position near the target hollow. Awaiting your further instruction, Master Proxy. One moment, please. Thank you. We're waiting here for your arrival. Alrighty. Let's go on and face a Mockingbird. See who these fakers really are. The way is blocked. Let's keep going up the stairs. Hero. Watch your blind spot. Oh. Speedy. Ow! Take a shot in the back. Oh god. What if he hit again? Now... Oh, you are the prey. Is he going out? Nope. Oops, sorry. I'm out. Lilac still isn't here. I set the meeting time a little early, just in case. There are still some materials ahead. There's a lot of materials though. Still, first. That's why you got here early. Deal with the ethereals? Indeed. As an attendant, the safety of my client is paramount. Oh god, doggy. A little gift A puppy dog. Look straight at the moon. Freeze, come on, freeze, puppy. Oh god. Hey, he's done again. The pressure is on. A deep clean. No escape. Understood. Come on. Here's again. Sure. Is it? Music though? Is Buckingham finally gonna show up? No more ethereals. Yeah. 
Nice up. Spinning. More of them? He's good. Bombs. Okay. Oh, spinning all of them. Hell yeah. God damn. <coughs> Jesus Christ, are still not here? Oh, she's there. Let's go talk to her. Wait, but there's this thing over here. Give me, give me. So you actually came, Miss Lilac? Are you sure you want to meet with those people? Of course. I've never been so sure about anything in my life. I've been really, really looking forward to this day. I have no idea what the Mockingbird's approval means to me. I've never been so needed by anyone before. With all due respect, may I ask you something? Do you approve of yourself before you seek the approval of others? What does that matter? It's almost time. I have to get going. More enemies. They just have a lot going on. I mean, she's hardly, she's hardly even able to have a life. I have a life. She may just need some time, but I believe she'll be done. People need to go through some ups and downs in life to realize what they truly desire. Want some more? This goddamn flower thing has. It's like so much health. Either that or just so much defense. Oh, damn. Hey, look. It's a blow. Oh my god, the dice. At this point, I'm gonna like go through the entire hotel. Come on, die already. Thank you very much. Oh look, there you are. <coughs> the chosen one, reporting for duty. <laughs> You're very punctual indeed. Welcome my fellow companion of justice. I've had that painting of praise, it's the real deal. You're certainly capable, worthy of being the chosen one. Great, can I be one of you now? Of course, we need talent like you. Just kidding, I didn't expect you to fall for this. Well, but then, what would you expect from a young lady who's been waited on hand and foot? Huh? You don't seriously believe you're the chosen one, do you? You don't, right? But you said you needed my power. We're actually interested in your parents. You think we'd have gone to all this trouble if they weren't rich? It, isn't the Mockingbird all about helping the poor and needy by robbing the rich? That's exactly what we're doing. You are rich, aren't you? Liars, all of you. We did lie to you, but don't you think it's kind of your own fault? Oh, what are you guys planning? I'm warning you, I, I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. Who doesn't? Mine is right here. It's your time, my attendant buddy. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> like I shows up. No way, you. <laughs> oh, why? Is she gonna? Is she gonna scare? Her? Oh, 
The trick. <laughs> oh my god. Why can't you? We had a deal. Deal? Oh, I made a deal. But not with you. <laughs> a few days ago. Master Proxy, I need your help to investigate this so-called mockingbird. I attempted to get into contact with them to express my desire to join their organization. Through my own methods, I found out they had already looked into my background and knew that, although I am currently working for Lilac's family, I am actually loyal to an unknown master. Could I trouble you with putting on an act with me? I would like you to meet with them, posing as this unknown master. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'm a great master. Leave it to me. I'm a great master. Fantastic. I expect no less from New Eridu's greatest proxy. In order to help our disguise, I have crafted a new identity for you. You needn't worry. Simply speak as you typically would. You wouldn't like on pick up the call from Mockingbird. Oh ho! So you are the one who wishes to join Mockingbird. You may call me Codename K. What do you think? It's <laughs> a great name, ain't it? <laughs> Doesn't it sound awe-inspiring? K, what a strange name. K? That's a weird name. It's code name K. Don't just get rid of words in other people's names. Without the code name part, it won't show any of the awesome epicness of me being a final villainous boss. Oh, so you are also into the trending subcultures <laughs> among young people? What trending subcultures? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, you must be the rumored attendant Lycon and the Gemini gods. Wait a minute. What, what, what the heck is Gemini God? That's clearly not a real name. My master has many enemies. Please understand that they cannot reveal their true name. Their enemies? Uh, very well then. Since we're all in the same line of business, I'll be straight with you. Lilac is our golden ticket. And we put in a lot of effort to get her to bite. We gotta squeeze every last drop we can get. We plan to take care of her for a bit after she mistakenly stumbles into the hollow. And then yep, I knew it. They're going to take her hostage. Some of that dough. You have a similar plan, right? How about we work together? Oh. We can split 70, it. 70, 30. 30. Jesus. 70 for us, 30 for you. Isn't that just kidnapping? Isn't that just kidnapping? Kidnapping? How very ignorant of you. We're just taking a little fee for looking after a poor kid in the hollow. So what do you say? Lycon, what's your take on this? Lycon, what's your recommendation? Master, I believe this is an acceptable transaction. It's a deal. So it's settled. Quick and forthright as expected of a fellow business person. I'll send you the time and location later. We shall eagerly await your message. Don MK hangs up. That should do it. Once we are there, we can pretend to work with them, photograph all the evidence of their wrongdoings, and then send the evidence to public security. Thank you for your cooperation. You are quite adept at acting. <laughs> like on, like on. Just what kind of identity did you give me? Just what kind of identity did you give me? Simply put. You are an influential and all-powerful head honcho of a crime syndicate that delights <laughs> in doing evil. You have a network of elite agents at your beck and call, and I am one of your humble influencers. I mean, I do have a lot of agents, but I don't know if I'm head honcho of a crime syndicate. Ah, right. There is something else I would like to discuss with you. Please do not inform Miss Lilac of any of this just yet. Speaking from personal experience, an encounter such as this cannot be resolved purely through reliance on others. We can help Miss Lilac deal with this threat, but we cannot protect her forever. She must see through this conspiracy herself. Perhaps this may be somewhat cruel, but in the long term, it will help her. That makes sense. Yeah, you're right. Let's do it then. Thank you. I believe in Miss Lilac and her ability to overcome this. Back to the present. Mr. Lycon! You... didn't betray me? Miss Lilac... Until our contract ends, I am your humble attendant. An attendant will never betray their master. Damn you! You dare toy with me? Do you know who I am? I'm the great leader of Mockingbird! 
I don't know, you look like every other thug I've seen. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, but our Bangboo has recorded the truth of your criminal acts. If you surrender and admit your guilt now, I trust that public security will not administer too harsh of a punishment. No, I won't go to jail. Never. I have no other choice. It's time you have a taste of Mockingbird's claws! Oh, well. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gotten mad after you guys helped me. It's okay. Let's leave these ethereals to lie on the first. Okay. As you command. Oh, shows of one. Please deliver your <laughs> final judgment. Huh? <laughs> He's playing a lot. What did Lycon just say? <laughs> you never fail to trust <laughs> me, Esquire Lycon. He learned. He let us speak like a chitty. He's getting even more edgy. Oh my god, he learned. Oh god. Stop. The final act begins now. You know what? You guys are gonna die. Stand still. <laughs> How do you like me now? Okay. Beat his ass. Take them down. As you wish, my liege. Oh my god. Oh my god. On the day of revelation. During the embers of the waning moon. That is when your karmic retribution shall start. Wait, what was that pose? <laughs> Was that a goddamn JoJo pose? Was that did he just pose like Dio? I swear he posed like Dio right there. You can get it, mocking Myrtle. Allow me to give you a warning: never say that name again, or else no one will be able to save you. Oh my god, how sick! It is done. They should no longer be able to pose a threat. It's kind of funny that manner of speech really fits Lycon really well. Speech just now was amazing. That was an impressive speech, Lycon. Yes. After we parted ways before, I took some time learning this trendy <laughs> he did, he did some Ms. research. Lyon, what did you think of my performance? <laughs> I, 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 so <laughs> I don't think it's sorry. like that. I, I it think you, I really liked it. The popular subculture was so poor. I have angered you to tears. I like is it crying because she's angry. Lilac isn't crying because she's angry at you. That, that's right. I I just got ether in my eye. That's all. Um I I'm sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all of this. You know, when Mockingbird first reached out to me, I did notice they were really focused on me. They were super sus. Stop it. But then they said I was one of the chosen. They said they needed my power. And you know, no one has, no one has ever said anything like that to me before. And then I just, it, it was like I just stopped thinking. I'm so, so sorry. It's all right. It's all right, really. I don't think it's your fault. Miss Lila, I don't think you need to be so harsh on yourself. Each and every person will have experiences like this of some sort. I once walked the wrong path as well, but it's all right. If one can turn back in time, they will manage to find their true path in life. Thank you. God, now that I think about it, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> I can't believe I was going around proudly calling myself the companion of justice. In reality, I just got tricked by a bunch of bad guys. Well, I think what we're doing now is in the name of justice, don't you? It is only thanks to you that we were able to gain video evidence of their crimes and take them down. Mr. Lycon, I'm really sorry to ruin the mood here, but... How are we going to move the people we knocked out <laughs> out of the hollow? Yeah, they're all just kind of scattered. Hmm. That is indeed an issue. 
If needed, I can... Hey, what are you doing here? Were you the ones who called? Public security? Why are they here? Oh, I almost forgot. Before I entered the hollow, I set an automatic SOS. If I were gone too long, my phone would automatically call what? the upset. just Okay, it's really clever. I like he's really prepared. Huh. I didn't expect Lilac to be so prepared. Uh, what's up with these tied up people? Well, they're the bad guys. They're all criminals. Lycan explains what happened to the elites of public security, carefully omitting the part about role playing as a master and servant. I believe that sums it up. We took video evidence of the criminal activities that were being committed. We will submit it all to public security shortly. I see. Well then, I'll take these suspects back with me. Um, excuse me? I'm really sorry for causing all this trouble. It's because of me that all this happened in the first place. Why are you apologizing? We should be thanking you. You helped public security take down an entire criminal syndicate. Good job, young lady. Huh? That's right, Miss Lilac. I think you do deserve <laughs> the title Companion of Justice. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Oh boy. She's a good girl. She just needed that those uh that words of encouragement, you know? Why, so much has happened today. I always feel like like I'm in a dark past. And actually, that's what I was thinking too. And I've got a vague feeling about what it is. Me too. And we're probably guessing the same thing. But let's not think about things too much now. It's time to take a rest. Yeah, he more than likely was in the original Mockingbird. Probably one of the leaders. Time to sleep. The number of sheep I count tonight break last night's record. Master Proxy. Everything is ready and I am all good. Okay. Master Proxy. Miss Alex says she wished to express her thanks to both of you in person. I wonder if you are available today. Of course I got time. It's welcome. Anytime is fine. Marvelous. We'll be there soon. Get to meet them. Yes, she is. She's so cute. Hello. <laughs> I brought some desserts. Please have some. I hope you like them. My friend recommended this flavor to me, and I bought mom and dad some too. It should taste real a friend? good. Here's the desserts with lilac. She, she, she make you friends? Well, actually, after what happened, word had been going around that one of the students helped PubSec take down a huge crime syndicate. Everyone's real curious who it is and saying how amazing that student is. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's only thanks to you. Okay, so recently I had an idea, and the true heroes are always behind the scenes. And that's the name I of this quest. I decided to draw my own comic series based on the topic. Uh, gonna be an art manga artist. The pro tag intent on becoming a hero, and after experiencing all kinds of encounters eventually realizes that true justice exists in everything he's done a story like that yeah. that's a good story you can draw too wow that's an epic story and you know how to draw too impressive i i've read a lot of comics and though i might not be all that great at drawing now i want to try i think that's a marvelous idea i think so too thank you so much this all really means a lot to me. Mr. Lycon, mom and dad said that your contract with our family ended. They said you didn't renew it because your schedule is already so stacked. Though it's sad to see you go. I guess it can't be helped. But there's something I want to say to you. Um, you, you're the best attendant I've ever had. I am honored to receive such praise from you. <laughs> Guess I'll be off then. Let's have dessert together again when we get the chance. Well, like bows to you and leaves. You seem surprised. Lilac seems to be doing well. Lilac seems to be doing well. 
I didn't think she would recover so quickly. I believe the reason Miss Lilac was susceptible to manipulation was because no one had ever expressed belief in her in such a way before. Her parents didn't spend much time with her due to work, and others her age didn't understand her hobbies. Thankfully, she has now found a passion to pursue, become closer with her parents, and made new friends. I am truly happy for her. <clears throat> By the way, here is your compensation. <laughs> it's getting all choked it up. It is as we agreed. Double your usual fee. I am, as ever, grateful for your help. Without you, this wouldn't have gone as smoothly as it did. Don't mention it. Don't mention it. Come find us if you need anything like this again. Of course. You are the best proxy I know. Truly. By the way, public security has confirmed that the people we took care of were merely copycats of Mockingbird. Well, I would guess, They yeah. used the name Mockingbird for their scams and deception. In here from the beginning, didn't you? You've known they were fakes for a while, haven't you? I see nothing gets past you. You could say that I am quite familiar with the real Mockingbird. That's why, when I heard the name, I already knew something was amiss. Familiar? I saw. How do you know Mockingbird? And just how familiar are you with them? I bet that's a story. I was once deeply involved. Wait, so you mean to say... Yes, it is exactly what you think. Now you know me in my entirety. I sincerely hope that this doesn't frighten you. Why would it? If I may, allow me to share another secret. In reality, I have had contact with this edgy concept before. Or this popular subculture, I suppose. I have even memorized and recited such sentences. Of course, under the influence of a certain old acquaintance that's here then really care to perform one or two well if that <laughs> is your wish are we gonna hear allow me to say now that if you wish to laugh please do there's no need to hold it back on my <laughs> the good it would not be good for your health <laughs> is he has since he has shooting lights well then let me begin i offer this supreme honor to you in this land of sin and virtue solemnly do i swear humility Courage, integrity, <laughs> compassion, fairness, so he's younger. self sacrifice, devotion, honor. He's, he's not so different. I guess that's what age, experience, trauma will do to you, you know? I shall never compromise in my fight against evil. You would even more I shall never voice. back down in my goal to uplift the downtrodden. I shall never betray my loyalty to my companions. It's loyalty to justice. Oh, Lycon, I can't believe you're having trouble memorizing such simple lines. <gasps> Could it be that there's something wrong with you here? Shut it! <laughs> Speaking of, why am I the only one who has to recite these cheesy as all hell lines? Oh my god, he's completely different. Because I never think I'd hear him say cheesy as all hell. So I need no extra training. You, on the other hand, have slipped up thrice already. So what? We still got the job done. Using violence every time is so very boring. In any case, I want far more than just this. Imagine it, Lyca. One day, we will be like those who stand at the top, under the spotlight of praise and defamation, admiration and loathing, faith or betrayal. Who the hell is this guy? So, he looks like a rep. He has. that sound super entertaining? <sighs> Save your daydreams for after we get this job done. The chicken? That's a dove. It looks like I'm a step too late. It matters not. It's about time for a reunion. Oh boy. Dear traitor. There's bats? Oh, he's definitely a vampire. Dear traitor. Oh my god, I actually can't wait to see that. Wise, I think I've taken in too much information today. Feel like I've gotten to know Lycon better. Yeah, I think so too. But since he was willing to share all this with us, it proves Lycon trusts us. Everything that happened must have been very draining, right? You should get some rest. Go EB buys. There you go. That's another agent story complete. Agent archive. And we got two more. We got Rena's and uh, Shingi's. 
which we will do later. Some other day, I mean. That felt a lot shorter than all the usual ones. That is, I am definitely really interested in Lycon's backstory now. Oh boy. But yeah. That is going to be it today. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to stick around for more videos to come, then please consider subscribing. I upload every single day. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.